Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you're new to my channel, don't forget, hit that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoy what I have to say. And don't forget, hit those notifications because we want to alert you as soon as we have new videos and new content out, as well as please leave us comments if you have any questions or if you just want to say, hey, what's up? So let's get started. It is that time of the week. Supreme Week 14 has dropped its partial list as well as keeping us waiting for the full list. So I don't have that for you guys today, but we're going to go through the partial list anyways. Hope you all had a nice weekend. <laughs> First up, actually, got this in the mail. This was my last cops for Supreme Week 13. And I was able to win this denim box logo Supreme hat. It is an amazing hat, I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna go with so much stuff just because of this dark denim that I got the color in. I love that they added this leather strap to the back. It's nice quality. Not sure that this is real genuine leather though, but it still looks nice. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm pretty, uh, pretty stoked about this hat. Not sure how it's looking with my curls right now, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you copped anything as well last week. All right, so let's get into the partial drop list. I wanna kind of go through, give you guys a bit of history on the tiny little collab that they did for this upcoming week. And that collab is with Castelli. This brand was launched in 1876. It started in Milan, Italy as a small tailoring brand. And then in 1935, when Armando Castelli actually joined on the team, it became a revolutionary race-focused supplier of quality cycling clothes. The iconic Scorpion logo that you're gonna see on the two items that they did a collab with for Supreme basically is a badge of quality. And their products are tested on some of the best writers in the world. So these products are definitely gonna be high quality. Obviously, when things are made in Italy, we kind of make that, I guess, assumption that they're gonna be high quality. What's cool about this brand is they actually are not new to the game with Supreme. They did a collab last year on a cycling shirt. And, you know, this is definitely a fashion trend that we saw in uh, spring, summer 2018 on the runways of Off-White and YSL. And I feel like Supreme just hopped on that bandwagon is, and is continuing on this trend that hasn't quite died out. You see girls in biker shorts all over, and I don't think this is an item, for instance, to sleep on, which is the Supreme Castelli Cycling Bib Short. That is definitely something I think the ladies out there are going to go crazy for because biker shorts are huge. We're getting to summer weather. I think that's gonna be a hot item. The only issue I have with that is that it's going for $178. Like my God, I have a lot of biker shorts guys, but I am not drop dropping that chunk of change on a cycling bib short. I just, I don't know, those have to be some pretty, pretty good quality shorts. I do like the pattern that we have going on here and the coloring of this. It's very cool. I love these kind of gold coppery undertones that it's giving me with the Italian colors. And of course, we've got that certified Scorpion logo on there. Uh, looks pretty comfy with the Supreme logo on the back as well as the front on the shorts. I don't know, like I feel like I could rock that with like a cute hoodie on top of it and leaving it looking like they're just simple bike shorts. But once again, that's it's pretty penny that the, they're trying to charge. And then we have the Castelli cycling jersey. I don't know, I'd probably go for the shorts before I went for that, but uh, it's nice. It looks super professional. We've got Supreme written all over it. It's very loud. We even have it on the sides as well as the front and the arms. I mean, Supreme is basically everywhere. You're not gonna miss that logo, it's crazy. Next up, that was a short collab, my goodness, they only, they only did two items. But uh, anyways, moving on, we have the tank five panel hat. It comes in five different colors. And I don't, I don't know what to think about this, guys. I, uh, this is probably my least favorite item on the list. It's just a picture of a tank and it's got the Supreme logo on the side of it. We have a camo color, a neon yellow, a black, a white, and a baby blue. 
it's all right. I think I'm going to pass on that. That cap is going for $48. And then we have the Flags Rayon shirt. Looks like they are gearing up for 4th of July. So if you don't have anything to wear for the 4th of July, that's a cool shirt. I mean, it's definitely celebrating our flag in different colorful ways. We've got your traditional colors of the flag and then another shirt in a black and white option. Next up, we have, looks like we've got Mary on these shorts. <laughs> Comes in three colorways, a black, a neon, yellow, a khaki, and a navy blue. I, I'm not in love with that. I don't know. Like, I love you, Mary. Definitely not so religious that I want to wear you on my clothes. But for anybody who's super religious, I guess, you know, the more the merrier of Mary. <laughs> and those shorts are going for $128. Next up, we have the over dyed pocket tee, and that comes in a blue, a red, a pink, a charcoal gray, a neon yellow, as well as a camo. And it's got a nice simple one pocket on the front with the Supreme logo in New York underneath that. I don't know, it's a pretty simple tee. I don't mind it. I probably would go for maybe the pink and that charcoal or reddish tone. But uh, out of all the t-shirts I've seen so far, I just don't know that I'm like so crazy about that one. Next up, we've got the satin pajamas, and it looks like these come in two colorways, a red and a black. This is giving me some, I don't know, Hugh Hefner vibes or something. I just imagine him in these velvet slippers walking around in these pajamas. Definitely not something that's down my alley of style, but, uh, you know, looks very comfortable. Those are going to be $198.00. Seems like kind of a costly pajama set, in my opinion, because you're definitely not going to be rocking those outside, but maybe you are. I don't know. Depends on, I guess, your type of style and if you like to wear pajamas outside. Next up, we have the Waves Regular Jean, and I think this is a very, very popular pattern that we have this week. I don't know that the jeans are, in particular, my go-to for this one. And uh, it comes in two colorways. It's definitely interesting um, pant, I guess, to wear. It's, it's one of those look at me pants. We have that in like a coppery tone with black. And then the second option is red, white, green, black, and blue. And those pants are going for $138. Next up, we have the Eyelet Hooded Sweatshirts. Out of all the sweatshirts, I think this is probably my favorite. It has silver eyelets all over the shirt, so I guess you could get some nice ventilation with those holes, and you're probably gonna be able to see whatever shirt you're wearing underneath it. That comes in an emerald green with a yellow print Supreme logo, a gray with black print Supreme logo, a black with white Supreme logo, a red with a white Supreme logo. So yeah, definitely a fan of that one. Nice and simple hoodie. Could probably rock that with many options and that hoodie is going for 158. Next up, we have the Waves top, which matches those pants in that same exact pattern in the white and the coppery black option. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's all right. I'm not too crazy about this pattern, but I definitely think it's different. So if you're wanting to rock like a very loud kind of sweatshirt, I think this is a great option for you. Then we have the Satin Digi Camo Camp Hats. Uh, the, oh, sorry, going back real quick, forgot to mention the Waves top is actually $98. So that's not too bad of a price point. Uh, the Satin Digi Camo Camp Caps, that comes in a lavender, a black, a orange, a blue, and a green. And those are all kind of a camo-y print. It's not bad. I mean, I love anything with a box logo, so I may try for that lavender color because I've been trying to add some purple hues into my wardrobe this year. We'll see if I'm able to cop that. Next up, we've got the Waves Work Jacket. Sorry, going back again, forgot to mention the price on those. $46 for the camp caps. Next on the Waves Work Jacket, we have those in the same two colorways, the copper and black and the multicolored on the white. It's a nice jacket, definitely if you're, once again, as I said, interested in kind of a very embroidered loud look. 
and that jacket is going for $218, which is actually not too bad of a price point for a jacket. Uh, the previous jackets I've seen on Supreme have been pretty pricey, so that's not a bad price point. Next is the Dragon Over Dyed Hoodie Sweatshirt, and that comes in a red, a lime green, a purple, as well as a charcoal. And the back is quite interesting. It says Supreme on the back. It looks like it's all embroidered. The Alpha Omega f uh, Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. Definitely not something I'm too crazy about getting. It's a lot going on there in the back, but uh, you know, it is a nice looking sweatshirt. It looks like there's a lot of embroiderment. We've got some devils on the arms with some branches kind of going on the side and it looks like he's got a double tongue kind of hanging out there. Uh, and there's a dragon on the back. So we've got a lot of embroiderment going on that hoodie. So that one's going for 148, a little cheaper than the eyelet hoodie that I mentioned earlier. Next up, we've got the Waves Crusher hat. I actually kind of am digging this hat. I don't know, it comes in the two colors as I mentioned, the copper and the black, as well as the white multicolor with the red, blue, green, and black. And I don't know, I kind of I kind of like the fit, that bucket hat look. Those are going for $56. I'm thinking maybe the coppery tone is more down my alley, but we shall see how difficult it is to cop that one. Uh, but I'm actually really, uh, let's see, the price point of that is $56. Um, moved on too quickly to the bowl, but the, the Wave Ceramic Bowl is pretty dope. I don't know, like, I can see myself eating some good quality meals out of that. Uh, it's a cool bowl. It matches the white hat to a T. Uh, that would actually be a pretty sick photograph <laughs> with the Waves Crusher hat and the Ceramic Bowl, not gonna lie. Uh, but that bowl is actually going for $28, which is not a bad price point. So I think I'm definitely gonna try to go hard for that one. Uh, and a last up on the list, this is pretty incredible. It's a toolbox, uh, has like an extension packed on the top of it. Supreme tech, it says, uh, that's insane. I don't have any tools. I maybe have like this miniature toolkit in New York. Cause I don't really have room for a <laughs> massive tool workstation. This thing is going for $8,598. Like my freaking God, that is a lot of cash. I guess if I was like Tim the Tool Man Taylor, I'd be all about this, but I am so far from that. Uh, it looks dope, but I just don't see myself dropping that kind of cash. Like that's a lot of cash to be dropping on a toolbox, but uh, definitely very cool looking. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was the partial list for today. I will update you if it's a big increase of items tomorrow, but as always, we never know until last minute with Supreme. So I'm just gonna go quickly through my top items that I'm going to play for. I think that the Cycling Bib Shore is kind of teetering on the edge of playing for it because of the price point at 178, but I do like that. I like the overdyed pocket tee in that pink charcoal and light red colorway. Next up, the eyelet hooded sweatshirt I'm a fan of. I may play for that camo camp hat in lavender. And then last but not least, that Waves ceramic bowl, followed potentially by the Waves crusher hat in that coppery black tone. Uh, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on what you're going to be playing for this week. Let me know your top go-tos. And once again, we are almost to 3,000 subscribers. This is a brand new channel, and I appreciate each and every one of you. So glad to have you join this Shea TV community. For our 3,000 subscriber, we're going to be giving and sending you out some ponchos and cookies. And yeah, that's it for today, guys. So stay tuned potentially for a second a uh, hit of items for this drop week. If not, we will be with you on Thursday for Live Cop Thursdays. And yeah, that's it. Enjoy the rest of your day. It's nice out here in New York, so I'm gonna go enjoy some sun. But uh, we will see you next time. Don't forget, hit that subscribe, give this video a like at the end. Feel free to give me some comments on items that you think you're gonna go for this week. And hit those notifications so we can update you on our next video. Take care.